right, today we have Marianne Weaver and uh, we're going to talk to her a little bit about Lyme disease and her experience with that. So do you want to start a little bit about yourself, what you do and where you're from? Sure. Okay. Yep. Uh, so I'm Marianne Weaver and I'm a landscape architect since 2004 and um, I probably in 2016 um, got Lyme disease but didn't know it mm -hmm. till 20. 20, I think, is when, we, when I finally figured out what was wrong, and it just was getting worse and worse, and I actually thought I'm going to not make it, so, yeah. So what were you, um, in 2016, what were you thinking was going on? At first it started, like, with my, my, my stomach and things, and they, they did all these tests, spent lots of money on doing about any test that's out there, video capsule swallowing and all that. They're like, oh, well, you know, you, you, you get an old. And a lot of people have IBO or IBS or, mm -hmm. but it just, um, and then, it, you know, it, to the, at one point I had to take um, antibiotic for that just to get a little bit over that, but it didn't work. So and with so, the IBS symptoms, were you um, changing your diet? I just suddenly lost 20 pounds. So lost. And then I had like, um, when you take that breath t breath test, it just went off the hook. Like so, there was something going on, and it showed that I had some kind of a in, in the upper stomach, mm -hmm. some kind of an inflammation. Wow. And um, then from there, it went into. It, it, I had so many symptoms. So every time you go to the doctor and you say, you know, and they're like, "What's oh, what you got now?" You know, and then you say you try to tell them this whole story, and they go. We don't care. We only are here to treat your elbow right now, or whatever you know, mm -hmm. kind of. Is that where they were flaring up? At the because time? I had, uh, yeah. It's then the elbow started hurting for no reason, just hurting, and then my whole I got literally like arthritis. My hands were like going like this, and um, oh, I, they were I actually saw, crippling up. Mm -hmm, and wow. I, I saw um, and this also COVID happened, you know. So mm -hmm. I saw got to see. Eight weeks of waiting until you see another doctor, and the rheumatologist just said, "I tested negative for it." She's, "You have something, but you don't have have RA." So, mm -hmm. so it was just a guessing game. And then the worst thing actually happened that I got these nerve pains in my face, and I went to the dentist, and they thought that I might have some root canal going bad, and they operated on that, and that actually made my the, the line just went right there, and I didn't know it still. So I, my face got so infected, they finally had to take my front tooth out. I couldn't smile anymore. It was just, and it kept in, inflaming and inflaming, and I said, I need more antibiotics, and they're like, no, don't get hooked on those. Um, and so the, twice I had oral surgery to get, get over this, mm -hmm. and then I, I saw this doctor, Dr. Wright. He's the, he's the only um, doctor, I think, here on the peninsula that has um, at that time um, identified or you know, diagnosed Lyme correctly. So I finally tested positive. I had been testing for that during that time from 2016 to 2020. Oh, they were looking for it? I, I Because when you don't know what's wrong, you know, you're trying yeah, to test for everything. everything. So I kept saying, I have parasites. It feels like I have You've parasites. You felt like you yeah. had parasites. And they're like, no, you don't. You know, and we did all these tests and the, the traditional test for Lyme just didn't, do the three out of five because I don't know how it, the technical terms are, but you have to test for three out of five to, to you know, be diagnosed with Lyme. So were they, um, you know, I've read that Lyme disease can kind of move around and shift. Yeah. So were they hiding at that point or? Well, I, the way it is, is these little creature things that hide in your cells and, you know, they, ca they cause havoc and your immune system in the <clears throat> beginning doesn't can't recognize them so they can get away with moving to different areas. So I had all these different things like the face pain, my ears would be ringing, my my joints would hurt, my knees would swell up, um, my stomach was inflamed. Mm -hmm. And I get to the point where I saw a neurologist where my brain was getting just like inflamed. Really? And he said, well, I don't know, what can I do? So he injected me with a bunch of lidocaine. That didn't do anything. It, it, I was having inflammation in my brain and then the MRIs actually also showed one of the MRI um, reports said that white matter the way it could be seen with Lyme disease. But nobody 
the traditional medicine did not Nothing. go for that at all. The neurologist says, says oh, I believe that you have all these things, but you know. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it took finally, Dr. Wright is pretty up there in age, he yeah. should be retired, you know, he's at the time I think he was 74. Um, he diagnosed it, he gave me doxycycline, which helped a little bit, but I still had like hot flashes, um, just, you know, brain fog. There was times I couldn't work anymore, I'd have to like pull over, I couldn't drive because I got brain fog. And I found finally a, a neurologist in, I mean, uh, sorry, a naturopathic doctor wow. in um, Pismo Beach. And that happened because I went to a construction meeting and a young man said, my sister has it. She got it in Toro Park. Took a long time to figure out. She went to, to um, um, San Luis Obispo School, so that's why she saw somebody there mm -hmm. who specialized in it. I saw him in September 2020, I believe, and I thought I was going to die. My husband drove me there. I was like, and he just looked at me, he didn't blink, he gave me antibiotics right away. I had four different antibiotics for, for 14 months mm -hmm. um, to be here, wow. you know, and I'm almost back to, to normal. So I still wow. have little flare-ups here and there, but um, I'm back playing pickleball. <laughs> <laughs> at work but and that's kind of the purpose of this video right because uh -huh. I we come across people you know often not all the time but you know at our booths and stuff that say yeah. that I have Lyme disease mm -hmm. but you know wh where do I go what do I do and you know you've helped me help a couple people I've you know yeah. showed yeah. you know told them about the doctor yeah. that you went and saw in Avila Beach but yeah. but you know what would you tell people that prevention if, yeah it's the key if I you know I'm a landscape architect I should have known yeah. But in, instead, you know, I just like, oh, well, it's a little creature of the forest, you know. <laughs> and it's, it's, I, I know that I have been yeah. bitten by ticks. Yeah. And I just pull them out and, you know, mm -hmm. I didn't really know that you're supposed to, um, you know, I mean, the ring doesn't always show up. And I didn't know that you're supposed to put the, the tick in a bag and keep it mm -hmm. so you can get it tested. So, mm -hmm. you know, I, had, I just didn't really know about that. Um, and so prevention is the key. Yeah. It's like I feel terrible for all the little kids in the little red wagons that get pulled on those trails like where I where got, got most it. of yeah. the ticks. Yeah. As I have dogs so I, I, we would, I would walk every day a mile or two and got plenty of ticks. The dogs are on the, on the um, medicine. Mm -hmm. They don't get it. I mean they, they can also get Lyme disease but they But by the time I, it but, transmits they yeah. Yeah, it yeah. it dies. Yeah, yeah. but um, yeah. Well, I I didn't have that medicine. <laughs> I wish there was. <laughs> so um, yeah, so I feel bad for all those little kids that I see when the moms pull the wagons, and I'm like, oh my gosh, if this little boy has ticks in there, you know, yeah. he's only like two. That it's gonna be a mess. Yeah. So it'd be. Did you find the tick on you that was the culprit, or? Oh, I've had several. Could have been any of them. Could have been any of them. And I do actually remember I had one probably in my hair, mm -hmm. which, you know, you don't really see, you can't really see it, mm -hmm. and I, it kept not healing up. And it's those really, really little ones. The tiny ones. They're like smaller than yeah. a, a needle. needle. In, uh, yeah, the deer yeah, tick. Yeah. So, you, you know. And a I, grain of pepper, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I could have, uh, I have clients too that um, I work for that one time she came over and she said, oh, Marion, what this is, do you have a new molar here or something? Can you look? I can't see it. I look at it and I go like, this is a tick. Yeah, that's what I feel like. <laughs> like at nighttime, sometimes I get them from working yeah, here, you know, yeah. and I go, oh, did oh, I get a new mole yeah, or something? And I um, pull it just because you're curious. Ah, and then you can't sleep the rest yeah, of the night, right, you know. Yeah. So, yes, um, it's definitely prevention. I think it would be even nice to have little signs at the, at, on those trails. Mm. I mean, we know that garapada means tick. You're right. But I, if you're like me and I didn't know. I right, know. and so yeah. like the CDPH, they come out every year and they test the ticks at Garapata for us. Yeah. And, you know, it, they always tell us it's, you know, less than 1%, you know, right. activity. But the, I don't know. The you know. testing is not up to par. That's I, for I, sure, that traditional testing. So Igenix, I think, is the only one that yeah. is specialized on that and it's pretty expensive. Wow. 
to get tested. I just had my son tested because he also had, you know, symptoms. Symptoms, mm -hmm. and um, I haven't gotten the results yet, but I got mm -hmm. the bill already. <laughs> <laughs> oh and nothing's covered by health insurance. Yeah, that's and right. And I have a kind of a feeling that that has something to do why the the medical um, thing just kind of like doesn't want to recognize it. Yeah. Because health insurance doesn't want to recognize it. Yeah. And um, because I, you know, I have some friends that are doctors and I mentioned and they're just kind of like, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> like, let's change the subject. <laughs> like, what? You know, yeah. it's real. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I have proof of it, but um, I think those um, brochures that you put out are really good. So yeah. whenever I now go to any doctor, I bring him those brochures. That's good. And they look at it and they go, well, thank you. That's you good. You know, because it's, it's something, it's not just some crazy, crazy lady that... Right. Well, and that's but, one service that we offer here is, yeah. is um, we ID the ticks mm -hmm. and, and to know if we're in the ballpark or not of a Lyme disease carrying tick. Right. And that at least helps a little bit. So we have a lot of patients bring their tick Ticks in and their, wow. their doctor tells them right. to bring the tick by wow. here so, so we can help out that way. Um, so. Well, it's, I always think that the Lyme is even much deeper than what people know about it from yeah. you know other movies and things that have been out um there's so many co-infections that come mm -hmm. with it which people get different things mm -hmm. different co-infections and some are worse and some are easier but if you can't no doctor can prescribe you anything if you don't test positive mm -hmm. because they're not going to give you any antibiotics unless you you have a, a you know a blood test that shows wow because they lose their license. So, so they could lose their license? Yeah, wow. I mean, if you would just be a doctor and prescribe people, you know, oh, right, antibiotics right. or whatever, I, gotcha. I mean, yeah, you can't do that. So mm -hmm. I, I understand their their point on that, but but I was going to die, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. So it, That's scary, you know, because you, you, I run into people, you know, and, and they say that I have it. So I think the pre prevalence level is a lot higher than, than mm -hmm. the state knows. I think that a lot of people are misdiagnosed that actually do. And they're they probably being treated for something mm -hmm. else. Because they, and they think they have it under control with. With yeah, everything's just medication, you know. Yeah. But you, if you go to a doctor, they'll give you a medication. It's not going to find the the sore. It's just treating you your mm -hmm. symptoms. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, so there's fibromyalgia and all those things could right. very much be related to that. Um, um, they thought... I'm S starting to itch now, thinking about <laughs> things. <laughs> I, know, I know, and I'm freaked out of it. It's, it's, I definitely have, um, yeah. like, a, at night, sometimes a hard time sleeping. Mm -hmm. I, sp I spray my bed mm -hmm. below with permethrin mm -hmm. because it seems like even... Spiders and everything kind of just starts liking me. Really? <laughs> <laughs> it's like I went with a biologist mm -hmm. on a new project site, you know, that's just oak, oak trees, and we're looking for native plants and stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, I walked off. I had off all over my, my feet, and yeah. I had a tick on my neck. Oh, my God. This was gosh. just recent, you know. Jeez. We drive, well, she didn't get anything, but I'm like, and I, yeah. here's another one. Yeah, we always hear, you know, um, <laughs> at the fair and stuff, you know, they don't ever go for me, but they go for my husband mm -hmm. or they go for my wife. And, and there's, well, there I, is that blood type that, you know, they prefer. I'm so. thinking that it could be something st strange, like yeah. um, like that, that little creature wants to, you know, breed basically yeah. and they'll yeah. they know that I have it right so right. it's in my blood so I put mm -hmm. maybe some kind of something out that they know that you're a, a good candidate yeah so I mean there's all these things about uh, mice and cats that have mm -hmm. certain kind of um, strange um, parasites that mm -hmm. it could be something we just don't know enough about oh, it do you maybe. remember that um, that one Rat? Oh no! I went to a rat conference, and they said if you get bit by a rat, you're more likely to be bit by a rat than somebody that hasn't been bit by a rat. Like, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> well, they, they have this thing where, like, um, there's there's a parasite, and it will go into the mouse, and it will make the mouse's brain stupid, and mm -hmm. then the cat can get it. 
And but then, the, actually, the cap is the one that can make more of the parasite. Gotcha. So there, it's a cycle. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> and it has to do with the, the cap poop, I guess. So the poop and then, you know, the rats are there and that's how they pick it back up. Oh, and wow. So it's a cycle. So mm -hmm. we, you know, I, I could see that there could be something mm -hmm. once you have Lyme and there's little spirochetes and they're trying to... They're dying off and they want to make more. Right. <laughs> They're using me. <laughs> right. So, uh, so do they leave your body at all? Or no. They I just, don't, you're a, a quote yeah, unquote dead yeah. end host? Mm -hmm. okay. as, as far as it, they say now, you know, mm -hmm. it's once you have Lyme, you have it. It's, it's kind of like syphilis. It's that mm -hmm. same, um, I don't know what it is. Not a big, it's a spirochete. It's a mm -hmm. little thing that goes into your blood cells. Mm -hmm. And it's it's it can it could come back for me too. Mm -hmm. So and I probably have some of these little symptoms every so often when I get mm -hmm. stressed out. So. But I you know what helps what what I do now after I'm done with all the antibiotics, which that was fourteen months. I had heavy duty antibiotics that I used for for lung diseases and ty typhus wow. and things like that. Um, and then, it, you know, that kind of ruins your gut, mm -hmm. so you have to go on all these probiotics. But I'm also on all these, like, lion's mane and other, um, mm -hmm. which are also costly, but I almost feel like without them, I, I'm, I'm not good. Right, <laughs> right. So, wow. um, that definitely has, has helped me, or it's still helping me, so I'm going to be on this forever. I think. Wow. Yeah, anything else you want to... Kind of let people know or wrap up with. Mm, well, the permethrin is the stuff that you can get at REI, mm -hmm. but I think it's really bad for fish. Probably. And cats. So Probably. I didn't know that either. So that's just another mm -hmm. thing that people need to know. Mm -hmm. If they do do that, then don't go into water. Don't kill all the fish. <laughs> <laughs> well, the other thing you can do, too, is use DEET around your ankles. Right, and I did that. And, and like when they, I got still, the apathic, they still I, 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 I completely, like, spray my shoes and my, my pants every time before yeah. I go out. Wow. And I still got it. I think they drop out of the trees or, you know. Yeah. I don't yeah. see why not. I've read that yeah. they don't, but I've had them. I had one fall. Out into of a tree. through my sunroof. Yeah. 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 In and the car. Also, yeah. 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 I think yeah, I had that once happen too. I was um going to the hairstyler and a tick fell off the car roof mm. and she's like, You have a tick in your <laughs> like, no, oh well let me just take it out. <laughs> it's embarrassing. <laughs> but you know, they're everywhere. I mean, yeah. the other day I'm sitting on my patio and I have little dogs mm -hmm. and um they are all on Semperica, which is the best for all, heartworm and everything. Um, I don't know if it was a bird that flew over, but all of a sudden my three dogs were sitting out and, and they, they're covered in ticks. Mm. Something just dropped out of the air. And wow. I, it could have been like a, a bird that had them or I don't know. Yeah. But freaky. Yeah. To me, that is just the scariest yeah. thing that can be. No. Oh, <laughs> And those were Western dog ticks, so that they were, were dog they, ticks. they were not the deer ticks. Deer yeah. ticks. Okay. Yeah. Crazy. It's just something else. What did, what would you tell people that maybe had fibromyalgia or have been diagnosed with other things, but they don't quite think that the diagnosis is right? Um, well, I think they should. I don't want to make commercial hair for. Yeah. But it, you know, you got to find a naturopathic doctor or. Uh, do a uh, um, get that test kit from Igenix. So Igenix sends the t kit to you. I think it's only like twenty eight bucks or something. Mm -hmm. But then you have to find a private lab because the regular labs will not administer it. Can Quest do it or they won't do it. Oh. Mm -hmm. So it's a, there's a private lab in Ryan Ranch that you can go. It's like fifty three dollars to for them to administer the test, mm -hmm. and then they send it to Igenix, and then Igenix will fill you. And then you, they'll tell you um, what your co-infections are. Mm -hmm. So I had like um, the Borrelia wasn't even the the worst. I mean, I had what's the other one called? I don't know. I had um, something that you cat scratch fever. And there's 
many, many different versions of that one too. Wow. Which is just a bacterial <coughs> infection. Um, and then, you know, then I got the virus medicine too, just to cover everything. <laughs> yeah. 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 But you're doing better. I am doing pretty good right good. now. <laughs> Very yeah. good. Yeah. So you have to get the naturopathic doctor, uh, otherwise you probably need Just, to test positive. You can try yeah. the Quest will do, the traditional testing, mm -hmm. but it might not be accurate. Okay. So. I guess we can put a link for iGenix down. Yeah. Well, there's, there, I think there's another lab somewhere in the East mm -hmm. also that specialized on it. I think the sad part is that even so we have already those um, under our skin movies and all of that, it's we you, you're kind of fighting against the health insurance to cover yeah. it as a as a real you know and like so many diseases we need more research yeah pills better not, testing yeah that doctors just give you something most of the time just to keep you out of pain or you know. So here we are, Marianne Weaver. Can I hand out your information if anybody you calls in? You certainly can. Okay. Yes. Yeah. All right. So hopefully uh, we're able to. And even my my doctor, you know, Doctor yeah. Thoring and Pismo in Beach. Yeah. Pismo. He's very yeah. very busy. So because there's a lot of people. I'm sure there are. Yeah. I'm sure. So with that, we thank you for thank your time, you. and the interview, and uh, I'm glad to hear you're doing better. Well, thanks for having me. <laughs> All right. And I hope it will make a difference. I'm sure.